No internet, no lights, no talking, deserted streets, and whatever you do, do not leave your house. Now you might be thinking, girl, you're just explaining a zombie apocalypse or my favorite horror movie, but I'm not. I'm explaining to you Nepi. Now you might be wondering also, what is Nepi? Nepi is a Hindu Balinese holiday that is celebrated here, of course, mainly in Bali, Indonesia. It is otherwise known as the Day of Silence. This year, it was on the 3rd of March, 2022, and next year, if I'm not mistaken, it will be on March 22nd, 2023. It's pretty much in the name, the Day of Silence. It's reserved for self-reflection and meditation. That means there is no traveling, no pleasure, no entertainment. For some, no talking and no eating. You basically spend the day in silence and the Balinese spend the day at home with their family, um, kind of just reflecting on the year and meditating. So many foreigners will actually avoid this holiday. Um, they won't come to Bali during this time because they're thinking, oh, what am, I, what am I gonna do for a whole like 24 hours with nothing to do? I can't leave the hotel, there's no internet, there's no cellular data, etc. But I would suggest if you are traveling to Bali around March, I would actually include this as something to see uh, because basically the day before Nepi holiday, the day of silence, there's a parade and the parade is called the Uga Uga Parade and it is basically a very loud and proud parade. They create paper mache monsters, huge, huge monsters, and they parade the streets with those monsters and they make lots of loud noises. There's kind of a like a traditional orchestra. <laughs> And the reason why they do that is they kind of uh, lure the evil spirits and monsters to the island because the monsters and evil spirits, um, it's believed that they look for uh, communities and people to torment. And they obviously are attracted by lights and noises. So they will attract the monsters that day. And then the next day is the day of silence. So by the time the monsters get to the island, there's silence. So the monsters have not, no one to torment or no communities to torment. So they will leave the island for another year. So it's kind of like the Balinese New Year. And I think it is an awesome opportunity to, to experience the culture. We drove around the day before um, the Nepi and it was absolutely awesome to see. There were so many women in the temples and there was people giving offerings. There were men trying to prepare the monsters for the parade that night. And then we actually went to the parade and we walked a whole five Ks um, following the parade around and it was absolutely such an amazing experience. The kids also made a monster and even the little squares are smaller so that they can carry it. So cute! And then the next day was Nepi and we spent 24 hours in kind of silence and we were not allowed to leave the hotel. Even though we are foreigners, we need to abide by the rules here. And basically the rules are um, sometimes there's no Wi-Fi, sometimes there's no electricity and then there's no cellular daughter. Uh, luckily for us, there was electricity in our hotel, but they asked us if we are going to use the lights and turn on the lights, we need to close the curtains and then basically we still had air conditioner, we still had Wi-Fi and we were allowed to roam the hotel grounds. Um, but it's different for each hotel and many hotels do offer specials and also some foreigners will kind of flee the island and go to other islands surrounding Bali. But like I said, I would 100% suggest that you actually stay on the island. It is an awesome, awesome experience. And I've spoken to many people who have spent years on the island and every year they kind of attend the parade and it's an awesome experience to see. So. Yeah, basically that's Nepi. Um, like I said, it's a 24 hour day of silence. Each hotel and each villa will have different rules, but I think you can kind of get it into your mind that 
you might spend the day completely in silence. So there might be no electricity, no Wi-Fi and no cellular data. So you can plan to actually talk to people or play some games. Um, we spent a couple of hours at the pool. We did some work up in the room. We watched some Netflix and yeah, basically we spent the hotel, the day pretty much in the hotel. So that's Nepi. If you want to know anything else about Nepi or um, Balinese culture, then let us know. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, check out our other videos here, and I'll see you in the next video on what to pack if you're traveling to Bali. Bye-bye.